So what we're going to do in this uh, little tutorial now is move on to bending and uh, bending your animation. So you're going to have certain aspects of your animation, uh, your character that you want to make differently. For example, hair. Hair is not static. It's not going to move like an elbow, you know, like you've got here. Um, you know what I mean? Bring back straight. That's, that's not how hair moves. Hair moves freely. It moves around. Uh, same with cloth. Same for, you know, that little bit of cloth that we've got in this character. That's going to flow naturally. Nice little bit of cloth. It's not going to be rigid. It's not really... You know, that's, that's not how it's going to work. Uh, so what we need to do is create a skeletal system for that, um, and then actually start painting weights, telling different parts of the skeletal system to, to move certain parts of the the image. Um, so to do that, uh, I'm going to show you through di uh, a different method. So what we need is quite a few different bones, um, especially for that cloth. That cloth's going to need a couple of but well more than a couple of bones to be able to move nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how, how that works if you just put a single bone in, how the, the warp tools work when you just put a single bone in, and then I'll show you with the cloth a few a few bones, and you'll see the difference. Very similar to, to Maya 3ds Max, stuff like that, where you, you have to paint weights, you have to create that um, that weight system. And so what we're going to do first with the hair, make sure we click in on the head, so we want that attached to the head, so this, this hair is going to move with the head as well. Um, and you can just because we want that, that parent child, you don't want to move the head and the hair stay static, that's, that's not how that's going to work. Uh, but we also want that hair to be able to move freely away from the head as well. Uh, so click on your head. What we're going to do is create a few different bones here now for that hair. So I'm going to add three just so we can see a nice little flick. Uh, but also, I'm going to do this little section here as well is just put a single, single bone so you can see the difference. And then this little flick here, just add a couple. So make sure we're clicking back on that head. We don't want this to be this strand here to be connected to this strand. So when we move that, that's moving. That's that's not how we want that. Um, and then what we're going to do for the cloth. So what I'm going to do is I move the cloth to one side because I'm going to create a skeletal system first and then move it into place just because I'd rather it be straight than having to sort of angle it and do all that funny thing. So what we can do click on the hip joint because that's where it's connected. And what I'm going to do is start creating a few one minute quite a quite a few here. Let's control Z that to make so we can have a nice amount in there. So you see there's quite a few there. So when I start using that warp tool you'll see the difference. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is the head first, this this hair bit here. So on the select tool Q on your keyboard, selecting the hair. You see this option here now on the left hand side, this is quite important. I'll just drag it across so you can see it. So here you have, we've selected the hair, uh, we have a what's called a mesh, so we click the mesh, so we've turned that image into a mesh now, and we're going to click edit mesh. Now what you see on your screen now is just this one mesh here, it's, it's just created these four points, these four vertexes. Similar to anything when we're using Maya, we need more vertexes, that hair there, them lines, and all this, this detail is not one vertex, it's quite a few. So what we do is click on edit mesh. And you have these options here for edit mesh, Modi you have the modify, you have the create, and you have delete, uh, and new edge and stuff. We want to be just focusing on this three here. So click on create, or end on your keyboard. And what we're going to do is start tracing that image. So we're adding them vertexes in, just clicking it, tracing around it, making more points for us to, to then edit. See, more and more. Points. And then what we're going to do, do is put some vertexes inside the hair as well, uh, just to get more density, uh, because we don't want this stuff to move as, as freely. So if I move this now, it's going to detect the full sort of string of hair. Whereas if we start adding vertexes in, just add a few in there, we're going to have a more dense sort of mesh there. Um, so let's click Edit Mesh. So you see I have quite a few different points, we can then move it, you'll see, start to move that image, if I click different points, we're now able to, to sort of animate that hair. Uh, but what we want to do now is add bones to it, so you want to be able to move bones to be able to, to sort of make the hair more freely, move more freely. So what we'll do is click add bone to bind, and we can then start selecting bones. Um, add bone to bind, and then you're going to have to come in here. This is where correct naming conventions come in. So we'll select born to bind, select born to bind, select born to bind, and select born to bind. You see, 
we start painting it already it's a different color codes and now this is where we start painting in weights then generating that weight when we move one bone how much of this image is it going to move so when i move this bone here i don't want it to move a lot of this or when i move this bone here i don't really want to move much here so what we do is we click auto generate weight and the system will automatically generate that weight uh, for us so now when we come in here we start moving you see how it's, it's moving the image for us we start moving certain parts bringing that back over here put it to here so you see we can now start moving that I think I've gone too far control Z let me just quickly change that I think I've removed my bones here so let's that's a mesh yeah so I've gone too far with control Z so let me just quickly add this mesh back in um, so we'll go wrong way. I think I'm on the wrong thing anyway. Let's quickly change that over. Click the mesh. Click on his hair. Where's his hair? Hair one. There we go. Yeah. So my bad. I clicked on the wrong one. And again, correct naming conventions must be used. So you see, auto generate weight, and then it creates these weights for us. We can then move things around. As such so what I'll do here on this one is we'll turn that to a mesh again so select your image you want to turn it to a mesh edit mesh start adding more vertexes in so n on your keyboard start adding more in making it more dense just so we've got more more points to move Stop that. So you'll see now when I move this this one, we can move it about a bit. This one, move it about a bit, and add bone to bind. So let's add them bones in, and auto generate weights. So we can now start moving these. You see, it moves a bit more rigid, just because we've got less less bones in. That's how we do that. So we'll quickly show you the more advanced. So when you've got more bones in, we've got a lot more say over where certain parts of the the, the um, image is going to be. So let's go over to here. This cloth. We're gonna again on the left hand side create a mesh, edit mesh, add a few more points. So we'll zoom in for this. So again, end on your keyboard to create, and we're just going to trace around that image to give us the nice points. Trace all the way around. As many points. Now, obviously, the more points you add, you know, it's going to have an effect on the performance of your computer. But I've not run into any issues just spamming it like this just yet. So my computer sporadically sets on fire. I'll let you know. Adding more in, remember topology and whatnot. Just this tutorial I'm just going to throw them in. Again, stop your edit mesh. So now when we start moving things, things start moving. Click on those gizmo, moving things around. Uh, so now, just add bone to bind. So we're going to add all these bones here. And we are going to auto generate weight. So then that's going to allow us just to move certain aspects of his image so you see i'm moving that little bone there move this one i'm going to bend that one back that way so for cloth this works a lot better you have these cloth let's just move it where it needs to be roughly about there so for things like cloth this works great i'm going to move that over there so we can see it i have visibility of his bones See, it looks a lot less rigid. It looks like actual cloth. So then we start introducing as animation as keyframes and using them 12 principles or animation. That's going to have that nice flow and not be rigid. We can then use, you know, um, you know, animations principles such like overlap, um, secondary actions and stuff like that, and start moving that nicely rather than just it looking clunky. So that's it for this one. Um, that's that. Uh, you know, we've been able to bend you painting weights that sort of covers the basics of that uh, you can now go and experiment um, with that so that's it for that one